It's been years since it was tried here, but in a little less than two weeks, the city of Syracuse will host a gun buyback program. No questions asked on it. News Channel Lions' Iris St. Moran takes a closer look at what impact gun buybacks can have in addressing violence in Syracuse. The last time the city of Syracuse held a gun buyback program was in 2009. The timing is right, and we know, I hear from neighbors all across the city that are tired of the violence. The city is partnering with New York's Attorney General, Letitia James, on this amnesty program. There's no questions asked, um, and there's no tracing on these guns. Onondaga County District Attorney Bill Fitzpatrick supports the program, but says it can have its challenges. Many, many years ago when we did our first buyback, and I'm talking two decades ago, uh, most of the stuff we got was junk. So we changed the criteria to uh, limit our buyback program to operable illegal handguns. Fitzpatrick says that change under then police chief Gary Miguel yielded between 140 and 145 operable illegal guns. At the very least you're going to prevent uh, accidents. You're going to stop a kid from bringing a gun to school either for protection or to show off. You're going to stop some suicides. Syracuse University political science professor Grant Reher says the amount of guns in the U.S. keeps growing. When it comes to homicides, he says money should be invested in programs where gun crimes and gang violence happen the most. Particularly in poorer areas of cities, and those are the people that suffer the consequences of this most heavily. And again, that's a big investment. You're talking about social programs, you're talking about jobs programs, you're talking about criminal justice initiatives. Those all cost a lot of money. James says that's where she plans to put her focus. You've got to take a, a gun out of the hand of an individual, and you have to, again, um, provide it with something in return um, and something that addresses their felt needs and if their felt needs again are housing etc or employment we should be able to do that while Syracuse's gun issues won't end with this program leaders agree it's a start Iris St. Moran News Channel 9